This video demonstrates the use of FPS Graph. It is a tool for measuring performance for Unity 3D projects that is available on the Unity Asset Store. Right now you can see a empty scene. Um, as you notice there's still a little bit of uh, static and slight spikes um, that is normal. Um, you also may notice that there is a static sound, or a little, it sounds a little bit like an engine. That is because I turned on the audio feedback option. And that is available just so you can get a more visceral sense of how your scene is performing um, more than just the graphical feedback. All right, I will now turn on the Lean Tween script. This script uh, animates 1500 boxes um, and it is using the Lean Tween engine. Uh, okay, as you can see there's not too many spikes. It's pretty comparable with the baseline of an empty scene. Um, and you can also hear that it's humming along at a I don't know, I, I would say like second gear if it was a car. All right, now let's uh, turn to the worst offender is uh, iTween. Um, this you will see quite different performance. Uh, yep, you hear that grating beep. That is the spike where it goes down to close to one frame per second. The, the baseline is not too bad, maybe around 40 frames per second, um, but the spikes are really what kill a game. So, yeah, not so great. Now let's uh, see, this is my second favorite tweening engine, Hot Tween. Um, it's also pretty popular. Uh, so here you can see there's also spikes. Um, the baseline is a little faster too, I'd say maybe um, third gear, but it's a pretty good engine. I would recommend it if you don't like Lean Tween or if you're not looking, if you don't need maximum performance. All right, uh, last but not least, well, maybe least, uh, is Go Kit. Um, this is, uh, it's a little worse than Hot Tween, not as bad as I Tween. Um, you'll also notice the animation of the 1500 boxes is not quite the same. Uh, I looked into trying to figure out Go Kit's, uh, documentation, but I could not, so that personally at least is another knock against using that tweening engine. Right? Also, there are a couple options on uh, FPS Graph. Uh, one is the ability to multiply it. Let's, I'll set it to a multiply of three. Say, may, maybe you have bad eyesight. Um, this just zooms in the graph more. Uh, you can also, if you want it hidden away, have a graph multiply of one. And that is not multiplying the pixels at all. It's, it's pretty tiny there in the corner. Uh, you can also adjust the frame length. Uh, I'd suggest doing this on mobile, maybe even setting it down to as low as uh, 25, so you can just get the gist of what's going on. So that is a frame length of 25. You can you can still see the spikes, but you have to be uh, quick to to catch it in the corner of your eye. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, check it out at the Unity 3D Asset Store. Thanks.